شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصل Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I like it. Yes, indeed. What measures should parents take to protect their children? This is a very, very important question. You cannot isolate or insulate your child, but you can inoculate them. You could show them how to navigate these turbulent waters. You could teach them how they can get into the world and understand what is expected of them. What should they be doing, inshallah? Now, you cannot also be, become overprotective and mollycoddle them. You cannot do that. It's important that you empower them with the right kind of attitudes and the right kind of values. But before you do that, you need to understand the experiential world. You need to understand the challenges they are going through in terms of peer pressure, uh, social media, and we all of us are part of this global village. And one of the most effective ways of helping our young people to protect them, create in them a love for the Quran, create in them a love for Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, all in all, create in them a love for goodness. And when they practice that, it will give them fulfillment. Let them understand what is meant to enjoy that which is good and forbid that which is wrong. And to also protect them, you need to help them to choose good friends. They say you are the average of the five people closest to you. So they need to have friends that are positive, who are Allah conscious, who love the Salah, they love the Deen, who themselves are like a conscience for them. And it's also important to teach them how they need to look at the media. We need to give them an idea about how to read the media critically. They need to understand that. They need to see the distinction between fact and opinion. And also, uh, you know, one of the other ways is to teach them how uh, when they, they will make mistakes, they will fumble sometimes, but let them know Allah is all merciful. Teach them about uh, forgiveness. So the important thing is this, that you got to have a relationship with your child. There has to be a, a connection, a physical and emotional and spiritual connection with your child. And when there is a deep love uh, for the child and it is reciprocal. And once you do that, then children themselves will be able to have a conversation with you and speak about those things that are creating a conflict in their mind. So all in all, the most beautiful thing parents can do is to pray for your children in their presence. Let them know how much you love them. Let them know about this world. Let them know that it's very easy to be seduced by this world. But let them know that it could also be an entrapment. Let them know about what is expected. Give them positive attributes. Let them know they can be leaders. And once you do them, once you validate them, affirm them, acknowledge them, then Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, they'll become eloquent ambassadors for the deen of Islam. This is Idris Kamisa saying, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and I like it. <laughs>